everyone good day and namaste so welcome to my channel this is safira and you are watching safira's recipes hoping that you all are doing well and are happy thank you all for liking and loving and sharing my recipes so here is one more very tasty and yummy one you all know what this is well this is called rajma and it's also known as kidney beans or lal lobia so i'm going to make prepare rajma masala with these today this rajma will be lightly spiced creamy and delicious it's the punjabi curry well rajma is a regular diet in india nepal and pakistan this rajma or you call it the kidney beans is an excellent legume and comes with loads of health benefits so this can be served with jeera rice or long grain basmati rice or with your parathas or rumali rotis or bread so let us begin and come on let's cook together so i took about uh, one cup that is uh, 200 grams of uh, rajma that is a kidney beans soaked it overnight washed it very really very well soaked it overnight and this morning i'm going to start begin cooking it they'll already look so nice and really soaked well i'm going to wash it once again for the last time i had already washed it the previous night before soaking it i washed it again in the morning and now i'm going to wash it again before i begin the recipe and then i will put it in the cooker and begin the recipe i wash them and uh, put it in the pressure cooker uh, i have added three portions more of water for example if it is one portion of uh, kidney beans i have added three portions of water and to this i will be adding in one teaspoon of salt one cardamom that's the big black cardamom Two green cardamom, two cloves, and one bay leaf. That is a tej patta. One teaspoon of chili powder. One teaspoon of ghee. I've added in the ghee so that when you cook this. uh when when the pressure comes up so the water doesn't come out of the mixer it doesn't overflow so i mixed it and i'll be closing this and will be pressure cooking it for one big whistle and then for 20 minutes on slow flame i have turned on the gas and i'm waiting for one whistle and then cook it on low flame for 20 minutes i have taken these uh, ingredients that is two tomatoes and four small onions I will be making a paste of these two and keep them separately. Uh, for the tempering, I've taken these two red chilies, dry chilies, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, and uh, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. I've also taken uh, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder. Half a teaspoon of uh, cumin powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder. These are all my powders, which I will show you all how to use them. I have now lowered the heat, and I'm going to cook it for another twenty minutes. I have kept the tomato and the onion paste ready the rajmas are really well cooked what i will do is i'll take a little bit um, in another bowl and i'll smash it a little bit so that my uh, gravy becomes nice and creamy and the taste comes out and now i will begin with my recipe i've taken some in a separate bowl and i will be mashing them a little bit so that 
we get a good taste on this they are mashed and I'm keeping them ready to add them into my preparation of my rajma masala I have now taken my cooking pan and I have added olive oil I have added about 3 tablespoon olive oil and I will begin doing the tadka for this I normally use olive oil that is for health benefits but you can also use any oil any vegetable oil or you can also use use uh, ghee so I am adding in my cumin seeds and my 2 chilies to this I will be adding in uh, the onion paste I will be cooking it for some time till they, they get a little uh, reddish color because they got to get cooked the raw taste has to leave them in another two minutes I will be adding in the ginger garlic paste now adding in the ginger garlic paste and I'm going to cook this too for another 3 to 4 minutes I am now adding the tomato paste we'll cook this one too Till the rawness disappears, I'll wait for some time for another two or three minutes. My dear friends, for all those who are watching this recipe, please help me and do subscribe to my channel, like it, and uh, this will help me motivate. and And I will be adding in more recipes. So also press the bell icon for notification of my upcoming recipes. Now it's time for me to add in my spices, the powders. Frying and mixing in the spices. And now after some time I will be adding in the rajma. They will be looking nice and awesome. Even it's giving out a very nice aroma. And my rajma is really going to come out superb. Now adding in the rajma. bringing it to a boil and then I'll be adding the uh, smashed one now adding in the smashed one I turn the flame a little low on medium heat and I'm going to get this cooked together in a low flame so that it spreads well the aroma also is yes, superb and fantastic and now after this I will be adding in another tempering that will bring out the taste of these beautiful rajmas or kidney beans since it's gone a little thick I'm going to add in a little water like a half glass and I'm also going to add in one tablespoon of joggery so this is optional, the joggery is optional but I like to add it because it, it enhances the flavor of this recipe. I am going to cook it for some time. My creamy rajma is ready and now just one more step. I have taken a small pan and I am going to do the tempering now. I have taken like one uh, tablespoon of oil that is the olive oil and two tablespoons of ghee. I'm going to add the garlic and the 
and the ginger. I've added in a little bit of asafoetida, that is the hing, green chilies, and the red chili powder for a very good color. I'm going to mix these really well. This is what will give the flavor to the rajma. I'm going to pour it into the rajma. Mix it well. It's already tasting and looking so yummy and, and really good, fantastic. Everything is cooked so well and it's all ready to serve. So I will be uh, garnishing it with coriander, with my cilantro leaves. And, and then I will be serving it with my jeera, jeera rice. So for those who want to know how to prepare the jeera rice, I have put in the link in the description below. So you all can follow the recipe of preparing the jeera rice. So here is the garnishing of the coriander. It's going to give a superb flavor to the rajmas. So here's my jeera rice which will be mixed well and blended well with this beautiful rajma so i'm going to serve this you can also have it with the with the pickles but i'm going to just serve you the rajma for now and now this very aromatic and yummy rajma goes very well with my jeera rice. So thank you so much for watching and Enjoy this recipe, prepare it at home and have some good fun with your families. It's a yummy recipe. I thank the Punjabis who have invented this and I want to do it and enjoy it. I want everyone to enjoy it everywhere in the world. So here we go, my jeera rice. Take care and bon appetit.